So guys, the question that we are going to solve today is this: trapping rainwater. And this question has been asked in these many companies, companies like Amazon, Bloomberg, Microsoft, PayPal, Intuit, Oracle, Adobe, Uber, and so on. And this is a lead code hard level question. But today we are going to learn three different approaches for this question. So make sure to watch it till the end. Now let's see the first approach. So the first approach is going to be the extreme brute force approach, and it is very simple. For each bar, we are gonna find out its left max as well as its right max. And based on that left max and right max, we are going to calculate the total water trapped for that particular individual bar. So the same thing we are doing here. What we are doing for each Bar. We are not checking the boundaries. I have started the loop from one until n minus one only. We are going because at boundaries there is no left hand side and there is no right hand side boundaries present over there. So that's why we are not checking for those particular values. So what we are doing for each particular bar, we are first finding out its left max that we can find easily by running a loop from i to zero, and we are finding out its right max that we can easily find by running a loop from i to n. Okay. So based on this left max and right max, what we are doing, we are finding out the minimum of these two, and based on that minimum, we are just subtracting the height of that particular bar, and that is going to be the Water trapped for that individual bar, and this we are doing for all the bars. So at the end, we will be having our answer in this water trapped variable, and at the end, we are just gonna return that. So here you can see for each bar, we are finding out its left max and right max again and over again. So that's why it's not an optimal solution. Now let's see a better approach. So in the better approach, what we are gonna do? We will be pre-computing the left max and right max so that we don't have to calculate the left max and right max for each bar again and over again. So how we are gonna do that? Let's see. We will be having a left max array and right max array. in the left max for this particular element there is nothing in the left okay so we will be just storing this particular value same for the right max this particular element does not have any right so we will be storing this particular value here okay now we will compare out of these two what is going to be the maximum this one is going to be the maximum so one we are going to store here out of these three we are going to compare which is going to be the maximum this one is going to be the maximum okay but there is a point we don't have to compare out of these two we can only compare directly with this value and the i minus 1 value because this we got by comparing these two so based on the comparison between these two we got a maximum value here and now we can easily compare this value and this value to get a maximum value for here make sense same for the left max and same for the right max so what we are doing we have a left max array here and a right max array here now we are running a loop and what we are doing we are checking we are finding out the left max and we are finding out the right max for left max how we are finding we are comparing the current value with the i minus 1 value of this left max array and then we are finding out the left max for the ith index same for the right max what we are doing we are comparing the ith value with the i plus 1 value for finding out the suffix max we can say or finding out the right max we can say okay and after finding out the left max and right max what we are just doing we are doing the same thing finding out the minimum of these two and then subtracting the current height and based on that we are calculating the total water trapped between these bars at the end return this total water that is going to be trapped between these bars so this is a much better solution than the brute force approach but here we are using some extra space so that is why this is also not an optimized solution now let's see the optimized solution